What's going on guys, it's Katz here and welcome to um, the first episode of FTRL. Uh, this is my second race in the league. Uh, I did the first race in Germany while I was in Germany. Um, so I didn't record that or live stream or anything. But here we are for Hungary. Um, the second race, I qualified second and f uh, DNF'd in Germany. But yeah, let's hope for something better here today in, uh, in Hungary. We're going to put the fuel way down here and head out about to start our, our first lap crossing the finish line here hoping to get a, a good a, a good uh, pace a good first lap here we're the first to go on the ultra softs uh, because in this league a lot of people go on uh, the medium or the hardest tires of the ones available but we set a provisional pole with a 116.4 as uh, we now head into the pits again to get uh, some new tyres on. Here we have the timer. We, the closest guy right now is Michael C, on the also on the ultra softs, uh, about a tenth behind. We are going out for another lap, but we uh, we spin it here. Our delta was actually going up, but yeah, we have a little bit of a problem here because we have three drivers coming through. I think uh, some of them had to slow down, and then we have a uh, blue flag there who actually ends up spinning. I think it did the same as me by going onto the curb, and then we almost uh, collide with him here. So I, have, I had to quickly turn off. But both him and me go into the uh, pits here, as you know, it's not really a point in completing the lap when it's so slow. But it was still a uh, provisional pole. As you see here, there are three Williams uh, on the map, even though there's only one participating, and there should only be able to be two. But there were three Williams on the map at that point. But here we go. Um, uh, trying to complete our final lap here go fast but then we just go push it too much and go wide and validate it so I decided to uh, force retire not really anything I could do so I just press retire you know that's the end of qualifying I see Cooper my teammate coming to uh, see if he can better from P14 he does it's P6 for him and that's the final results of, uh, of qualifying we were lining up on pole on the grid for the formation lap, let's see here. It's a nice little getaway here, but it's only the formation lap, so no racing. We're just warming up tires and stuff. Formation lap is about to end. We're pulling in to our grid spot here, which, if you didn't know already, is done by AI. But here we're about right there now, parking there. But here we go for the race. The lights are counting, and it's five red lights and it's lights out and away we go it's a terrible get off off the line here uh, Michael gets us almost immediately as we jump into rich and hot lap um, the thing is I forgot that Michael was there so I turned in and had to suddenly correct myself which sent me wide um, and yeah I just lost two positions more and for some reason I didn't go for this move here even though I was, I was close enough to do it but I think it was because uh, CJ Payne was there but I could have done the move on Willie Tix, but as he also goes very slow through here, but uh, that's uh, Paul James uh, retiring already in the, just between the third and the fourth corner, oh no, the second and the third corner, almost getting on the curb here, which is deadly on this track, if you get on the curb, you're over. But, yeah, Willie um, pulls in a little bit in front of me, which I didn't expect, uh, so I send him wide, which is, I think that's like my fault the most. I didn't expect him to to uh, go a little bit on the inside line. I think he went defensive from me because he knew I was there. We quickly get uh, fast sector two. But Cooper takes it away from us. He go for lab three. Prototype Steph is uh, retired, which is of course sad for him. Uh, we have uh, one of the Torosos out. As you see there, Cooper, my teammate, has spun it and he's into the wall. I was actually uh, supposed to pit on this lap, which I had to. Uh, skip out on because uh, Cooper needed to to take the stop to get his uh, tyres changed. But here we go, and Michael makes a mistake there. We go past him. That's uh, that's now us into P3. As we suddenly lose it there, hit the wall, and somehow escape that with no damage. So Michael and his teammate get past us now. Um, he he messaged me about that, uh, saying that uh, Mercedes lost it there, and he thought it was me. And I was like, nah, that must be Cooper because I didn't remember. But Looking back at it now, uh, I know what he's meaning, what what he's talking about. Yeah, very quick stop here, 2.6. Uh, 
it could definitely be quicker but it's, it's not slow it's not that slow we're onto the softs here uh, we have a uh, rain expected for some time later in the race um, it's expected quite late but uh, looking at the uh, clouds now it doesn't look like it we have Michael exiting the pits right behind us uh, so we've actually jumped him in the pit stops which is always nice to you know Goy Carp goes very slow in the exit of the, uh, of this uh, chicane here yeah I, I at this point I thought he was letting me through but he just made a little mistake there so I took him by complete surprise and uh, watching back the uh, stream with the commentators on I can tell you they they were surprised as well but there we have um, the Sauber of uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name right now. City Posh Blue retired from the session now. Again, very sad. But if you look at the car here, which is why I've zoomed in, there are slight drops of rain in lap 14. Now the rain is definitely not enough for wet weather tyres, but it's definitely made us catch up to uh, Bendel here, and in front of him, Rich T Gaming. S tuck into his uh, slipstream and uh, use DRS utilize DRS and slipstream to go up his inside and uh, that's it that was relatively easy move he is on the mediums uh, which he started on and I'm on the softs so it makes sense we have a uh, rich T gaming one lap later same spot up the inside still raining a little bit but definitely definitely still faster on the uh, on the softs as you can see but Rich T Gaming here wants to fight back. He is there on the inside, but I block him off. He's not uh, alongside me at this point here, so I can go in front of him. But here we see here Cooper goes into the pits. Uh, and I kept on telling him that was way too early, way too early. But see, that's another Torosso pulling off to the side. That's Willie Ticks retiring from the session. Uh, it looks like, yeah, he's, he's crashed. I don't know what tyres he was on, but maybe it was uh, that was the reason but up ahead here we see Cooper on the minimap he's suddenly going slow and as we come over here we see that he's actually facing the wrong way in the middle of the track and Gory Carb also retires at the same time it's a very uh, very, very confusing times right now but as we go up here see it's, it's, it's going very slow now because of, uh, of the rain we lost what about a second and a half, maybe two seconds in the uh, in the uh, sector time. But yeah, Cooper retires now after spinning again a few corners later. But lap 21, it's finally the time to pit on to, onto the inters. I would have pitted a lap later, but my soft tyres were basically dead. I make a huge mistake here in the pits. So I I completely forget that pit assist is off, so I forget to uh, hold the clutch and stuff. So I I just completely messed up on the release which slowed me down by a few seconds meaning that when we rejoin the track here we have Michael relatively close to us we also have a lot of missing fuel that we need to regain very close moment there with the wall almost uh, hitting it here we have uh, Michael C going way faster than us here lap 24 out of 35 going way faster I wanted to block him off there but I reacted too late so he was already alongside me when I was about to do it and I thought like okay I can't do that because I'm just gonna push him so I had to let him go up my inside, uh, which was a big mistake because uh, I tried to go up his inside here, but this I'm just too far back and I can't do it. So uh, he ends up overtaking us, and I think the next uh, clip here, yeah, that's a few laps later. As you can see here, he goes wide. I go wide as well, and I get a time penalty. Now, he didn't get a time penalty, and this was very confusing to me. I think I went a little bit more wide than him, but... It's still it's confusing to me. But yeah, going up here, seeing again that the time is it's very slow. It's still raining, but here we have lap 35. Uh, that was about the time I had just been told a few laps ago that my uh, tire grip was starting to fall off, and that was my absolute biggest fear of the last few laps. And then it happens wing damage in the last lap, but it's fine. It's just look how slow we go through here. We have Panini slowly catching up to us from behind, but we do manage to get it. Here we have us finishing the first race of FTRL in P5. 
a bit disappointing considering my chance of getting a podium. I I was hoping for a podium. I don't know if I was expecting it due to me having to do two stop, but when the rain came early, I felt like I really had a good chance, but then my pit strategy, or not my pit strategy, but my pit stop itself was just horrible. But yeah, here's your top three. CJ Payne winning, Michael getting second. I believe that's Michael, or no, that that's uh, his teammate. And then we have uh, Hammer Time getting a P3. But yeah, that was it for this video, guys. Um, I shall see you in the next one. We get two points for qualifying, by the way, uh, for qualifying on pole. But yeah, that was for this video. I shall see you on Friday, I think. So yeah, goodbye.